Good morning, everybody. We are starting out with a mix of clouds and sunshine, but notice that most of the clouds are now moving over Lake Huron and setting up westerly skies that are clear at this point, and that's what we're going to see. Some clouds, some sunshine, and that'll be scattered throughout the day. As we look at your temperatures, we're actually pretty warm compared to where we've been the last several mornings. It was Wednesday and Tuesday where we had widespread teens across the map, so many of us are already above freezing, and that'll signify a little bit of a warming trend for us into the afternoon where some of us will actually get above average, and that hasn't happened for nearly a week and a half or so. So we do have some scattered clouds all in response to a cold front that's now up near the U.S. Canadian border in the western tip of Lake Superior. It'll continue to dive south throughout the day today. Out ahead of it, we're seeing the warmth, but behind it, we've got teens and then over the border, we've got single digits in southern Canada. So it is going to be a little colder tomorrow morning than what we're seeing out there right now, but at the same time, we'll also look for the potential for a few scattered snow showers because once the front sags far enough south of the area, it's going to stall. So this is four o'clock, mix of clouds and sunshine, more clouds in the northern counties and southern counties, but watch what happens by about midnight tonight. It makes it through maybe a little bit of lake effect snow with the wind coming in off of Lake Huron over the thumb, mainly the thumb and Saginaw Bay can see a couple of those snow showers. But then by about 3, 4, and 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, the front stalls. And south of the front, we actually have warm winds that will hit the front and kind of ride over top of that. We call that overrunning. And that sets up moisture on the northern edge of the front, which spells scattered snow showers for us going throughout the morning tomorrow. And even into the early afternoon, I think we still could see a few scattered snow showers. There may be a sleep pellet or two mixed in with it as well. Accumulations looking light at this point. I'm not expecting much more than an inch, and those one inch totals will be very isolated. Most of us say a dusting to a half an inch. And then as we look ahead to the seven day forecast, all that's going to be a distant memory because we climb after tomorrow's highs into the 30s, into the upper 40s, and even 50s by the time we head to Sunday. And what we see on Sunday is another storm system moving in, but we stay warm. So this one's going to provide a lot of rain for us. And as we look to Monday, not out of question to see a 60 degree high in one or two spots out there. Very warm for this time of year as we get into to enter the month of December. Looking ahead to Tuesday and Wednesday, another front comes through. This one will kind of keep give us a reality check once again as temperatures go from the 50s back into the 30s. We'll start out with rain and it could end as a little bit of snow Wednesday morning.